Hi, I'm Victor. Today we are going to talk about the benefits and issues of information technology. Let's review what information technology is. Information technology deals with the use of computers to store, retrieve, and transmit information. It is the acquisition, processing, storage, and dissemination of vocal, pictorial, textual, and numerical information by a combination of computing and telecommunications devices. This is made possible because of web technologies, bioinformatics, cloud computing, global information systems, and knowledge management systems, just to name a few. Information technology has changed our lives in so many ways. Individuals, students, patients, and businesses make use of applications to make tasks and information gathering become easier and more convenient. We can shop, send messages, search for school materials, and even prepare for job interviews because access to information is at our fingertips. Here are top 10 benefits of IT according to Aaron Takwur at topyaps.com. First, remote accessibility. In this day and age, technologies have paved the way in making it possible for people to work from home and study while at home. Devices and application software make us productive and meet office or school's expectations. With the internet, people can obtain information more conveniently even inside their house or in public places. The internet has also given employees the freedom to work from remote locations. Many companies have complete virtual offices thanks to advancements in telecommuting software. Second, creation of new jobs. There is a growing demand for professionals to fill vacancies in computer-related jobs like computer programming, system analysis, program testing, software and hardware development, web application design, and game development. Training resources like ebook and tutorial videos are available for free. This results in a growing number of enthusiasts. Third, application of IT in education. Schools make use of gadgets for the students to better visualize and understand the topic. Schools make use of information systems to help different offices do their tasks easier and better cater services to students, parents, and visitors. Students are also given access to the internet so they can look for online references. They are given many opportunities to learn the basic computing skills to facilitate their learning. For example, multimedia learning center, and classrooms with projector and classroom with an interactive whiteboard. Fourth, application of IT in the health sector. Virtual healthcare application systems, telemedicines, electronic health records, and health grades are some of the applications of IT to improve the quality of healthcare to people across the globe. Fifth, advancement of economies. IT made business conduct buying and selling activities more efficient. Transactions are no longer restricted by time and distances. Companies can now reach their market easily because of social media and websites, which may be accessed around the world. IT allowed the world's economy to become a single interdependent system. IT makes business easier. Manufacturing organizations are able to increase their output with technology advancements which has resulted in more competitive pricing for end customers. Sixth, communicating news. Today, it takes less than a few seconds for a news story to propagate from one part of the world to the other. News channels or programs have online counterparts. Seventh, entertainment. Gadgets have given us access to various entertainment platforms. Many creators upload their contents to music and video platforms. Nowadays, there is no need to wait for weeks to watch for the next episodes. Some programs provide all episodes on a given date, which can be watched via streaming or may be downloaded. 8. Effective communication Email services, video conferencing tools, text and multimedia messaging in online apps made communication cheaper, quicker, and more efficient. With these tools, messages are received instantaneously. Individuals, students, teachers, patients, professionals, and businesses reap the benefit from these communication tools. Ninth, globalization. 
people from different parts of the world are connected through the use of social media. People sitting miles away can communicate with people anywhere in the world. Global citizens can make reactions and provide their opinions on local and international topics. IT has not only brought the world closer together, it has helped to bridge the cultural gap by helping people from different cultures. Tenth, accurate and speedy processing of information. The use of word processing, spreadsheets, database software, and other application software, which may be installed in local drive or accessed over the cloud, have helped individuals, organizations, businesses, and governments. Through the use of this application software, data is processed accurately and information is delivered at a lightning speed. Some companies have created specially made hardware to assist employees in processing data and accessing information. Office automation helps office workers improve working efficiency, productivity, data security, and communication with others. IT has helped to computerize business processing, thus streamlining businesses to make the processes extremely cost-effective and increase profit. Information technology has brought substantial concerns too. Let's talk about some of the social, ethical, legal, and environmental concerns. We'll begin with social issues. Here are some social issues from the article 10 Social Issues Computers Have Created published at thespinningdonut.com, written by Bill on January 23, 2013. First, communication breakdown. With more and more households owning several computers and numerous portable devices granting access to information and entertainment, this may lead to lack of family communication. Defamation of character. With the advent of social media services, some are using their access to defame people and businesses in an intrinsically public manner. This has led to arrests, lawsuits, and the threat of placing stricter controls over what can and cannot be posted to such services. Third, identity theft. In the wake of easily accessible computers and the internet, one of the prevalent fraudulent activities is identity theft. It is the act of harvesting personal details by a third party so they can be used for malicious purposes. Fourth, cyberbullying. The internet and computers made it easier for spiteful people to attack people they know personally or strangers using social media platforms. These people tend to go uncaught as they go under the radar, which makes it harder to detect and correct. Fifth, gaming addiction. This includes addiction to video games that may impact people of all ages. This may lead to a number of problems like social and financial hurdles. Sixth, privacy. Despite several reminders, people tend to have a lack of appreciation for the risks of identity theft. This may be because of people giving away private data in public platforms like social media and chat rooms. Seventh, health and fitness. Computers are removing the need for us to physically carry out many tasks, which may lead to obesity and other body posture problems. Eight, education. Having all the information in existence on a single click or tap, the fear now is it may lead to practice of plagiarism and dishonesty, as students can simply copy and paste texts and images from online sources and claiming it as their original work. Ninth, terrorism and crime. Terrorists and organized criminals exploit the web for their own heinous purposes. Everyone is at risk of cyber attack, and the perpetrators can often act anonymously. Tenth, sexuality. There are fears that unmitigated access to pornography for minors is shaping the sexual expectations of young people, and this may lead to teen pregnancy and unexpected results. In addition, according to Rimple Dara in her presentation at slideshare.net, the following are other issues brought by IT. First, unemployment. While information technology may have streamlined the business process, it has also created job redundancies. For example, a lot of lower and middle level jobs have been reorganized, causing more people to become unemployed. Second, lack of job security. 
many technologies are being introduced or created for specific processes in a company. Thus, one may be required to be in a constant learning mode in order for him or her to secure a job. Third, dominant culture. While information technology may have made the world a global village, it has also contributed to one culture dominating another weaker one. For example, it is now argued that the Koreans influence how most young teenagers all over the world now act, dress, and behave. There is no question that technology has greatly impacted the economy today. Here are some of the issues according to the article of Anam Ahmed entitled Advantages and Disadvantages of Technology in Our Economy, which was updated last March 7, 2019 at bizfluent.com. First is the security concern. A limitation of the new economy that's centered around technology is that an organization's data may not be as secure online as it is on paper. Modern technology opens up a business to online security threats, including viruses and other software and hardware concerns. Second, dependence as a downside of technology. If the machinery, software, or hardware malfunctions or needs to be repaired, the efficiency goes down considerably since organizations are fully dependent on technology for day-to-day -day business operations. As a result of this dependence, many workers are losing skills that may have needed a few years ago to do their jobs. Third, moving faster than regulations can catch up. While technology is changing day-to-day, -day, it's difficult for regulations and laws to keep up with the advancements. As a result, when issues arise due to technological reasons, there may not be guidelines on how to proceed from a legal or regulatory standpoint. Now let's talk about some ethical concerns. When we say ethics, these are moral principles or rules which govern a person's attitudes and behavior. Some ethical issues in this information age include ensuring public safety. The introduction of new technologies brings safety concerns. For example, Driverless cars may soon be everywhere. The designers of driverless cars have not only had to ensure the safety of passengers, but also of other drivers and pedestrians. Security of data. There are people that attempt to hack systems in order to gain access to other people's data. Social media accounts and devices that are connected to networks are all prone to hacking. Therefore, people need to constantly secure their accounts by providing hard-to-guess passwords. Also, to be responsible where they log in their accounts. Now let's talk about legal concerns. With the rise of supply of the new devices and the easy access to the internet, they may be used for illegal activities, new concerns, and new crimes. Computers might be used unlawfully in many ways. For example, helping to steal financial information such as credit card numbers or bank account details, helping to illegally copy and distribute films, television programs, and music. Therefore, legislation is needed to cover new technologies and protect the public. Now, what about environmental concerns? Here are some of the concerns related to the environment. Many computers, such as web servers, domain name servers, and data centers, need to be left running continuously. Businesses, organizations, schools, and homes are all using devices, and those devices require lots of energy to maintain. Metals and plastics are used to manufacture components of computers. Some of these components are either hard to recycle or contain toxic materials, such as lead. Users change ICT devices quite quickly due to various reasons, and this means many resources will be needed and old devices will be hard to discard. Here are the references. And this ends our discussion about the benefits and issues of information technology.